welcome back everyone so zorin os 17 has been launched with lots of improvement and basically it is a linux based operating system with a combination of windows mac and google chrome so in this video i will be showing you the installation process of zorin os 17.1 and my honest review about this operating system so without any delay let's quickly get started Now there are a lot of myth about the Zorin OS where people say that you can enjoy the Windows application and game using the Windows app support. But actually not all kind of application and game properly work. So don't install the Zorin OS with the expectation that you can use it as a Windows substitute by enjoying all kind of Windows application and game. Now to be honest I tried installing many kind of application and I was successful installing many application like OBS, TeamViewer and many other windows application but i had a lot of problem installing many other application like office and game like valorant however there are many third party application like crossover that can help you to enjoy the windows application like microsoft excel or microsoft word all right you might be confused now so let me make it more clear if i talk about the performance of course you will be getting the far better performance than windows 10 or windows 11 if I talk about the appearance, navigation, look and theme, feel, it's also better than Windows 11 that I found. It looks really cool and amazing. But if I talk about enjoying the Windows application and game on the Zorin OS, so I can't promise you that you would be able to enjoy all kind of application or game. Probably they are working on it. So in future, you might be having a better option. So now let's see that how you have to go with the installation process. So bring up any of your favorite browser and you have to search for Zorin OS. Click on the first link, make your computer better. Then you have to click on download Zorin OS. Now here on the top, you will find the Zorin OS Pro and it's a paid version. If you want to go with, you can go with it. You can read about the feature, but we will be going with the free plan for the free OS. So that is Zorin OS 17.1 core for basic use. So you can click on download free. You can also go with the education one here. Then it will ask your email. So you can simply click on skip to download. And the downloading will be started and it's around 3.5 gigabytes. So it will take some time. So you will have to wait until the downloading is being completed. And once it get completed, now you have to open a new tab and you have to look for Rufus because we have to make a bootable USB. So click on the first link. Then scroll down and you will find Rufus 4.5 EXE. Click on it. And the file will be quickly downloaded click on the downloaded file and now you have to connect your usb that you want to make a bootable usb and it should be at least of four gigabyte and this kind of rufus dashboard will be up now here at the top in the device section you have to click on the drop down and choose the right usb that you want to make a bootable usb so i will go with this one i will select it then in the boot selection, you have to locate to the ISO of Zorin that you have downloaded. So click on select. Then locate to the place where you have downloaded the Zorin OS. Select it. Click on open. And now you don't have to make any kind of changes. Simply you will have to click on start. Click on OK. Then it says warning all the data on the device will be destroyed. So make sure the USB that you have connected that doesn't contain any kind of data because everything will be wiped out. So if you have any data, take the data back first and then go with this step. Click on OK and the process will be started and it won't take much time. So kindly wait until it's all been done. And then finally, we can connect to the device where we want to install the Zorin and we can go with the installation process. OK, so once the bootable USB is ready, now you can connect this USB to the computer then restart the computer and now you have to use the bios key in order to enter the bios section so that you can change the boot priority order now the bios key can be different depending on the manufacturer so it can be f10 f2 escape or delete so use your bios key and you can even look on the google so once you come to the bios you have to select the usb so select usb and hit the enter key and then finally you will be coming to this kind of page where it says try or install zorin os on the top so you have to select this option Hit the enter key. Okay, and then finally you will come to this kind of installation page and it says try Zorin OS or install Zorin OS. 
Now in case before installing, if you want to try it, then you can go with this option. I will be installing the Zorin OS, so I will select it and click on install Zorin OS. Choose the keyboard layout, whatever layout you want, you can select. Click on continue. Update in other software, download update while installing Zorin OS, so I will update it later. Install third party software for graphic and Wi-Fi hardware, so keep this option selected. Then you have to click on continue. And this will be now preparing the Ubuntu drivers that are required. So you have to wait. And now next it will be coming with installation type. So it says erase disk and install Zorin OS. So if you want to go ahead and erase the disk and install the Zorin OS, then you can go with this option. And this will be deleting all your program, document, photos, music, and other kind of data in the operating system. All right. But if you don't want to delete, then you can go with the second option. Then click on install now. Then it will ask you where are you so choose your location wherever you are located then you have to click on continue and now you have to give your personal information like your name so i can type like geek pick a username i will type crown geek choose a password i will go with an easy password here login automatically just keep this unchecked require my password to log in okay that's good okay must start with a lowercase letter okay so i will just type in the lowercase all right so once we get all the tick mark here we are good to go and now i can click on continue all right so once the installation will be completed it will ask you to restart click on restart now and now you can remove the bootable USB and hit the enter key. And bingo, so now you can see the Zorin OS login screen is coming up. And here you have to click on user name that you have created. Then enter the password that you created while installing Zorin OS. And you will be getting this welcome screen so if you want to go with the tour then you can click on the start tour i'll just click on no thanks and this is exactly how it look like you will be getting this kind of wallpaper that you can change so if i make a right click on the desktop here i get new folder option new document option where i get the libre office for absolutely free so i don't have to go with any kind of paid version arrange icon show desktop icon and from here only i can change the background so whichever background you want to go with you can select the background from here whichever you like the most then here in the settings only you get many other options like notifications you can manage uh, disable or enable the notification you get all the application characters cheese contact disk then if i go back the privacy option is here where you can manage the location the thunderbolt the file history and the trash these are the options that you get in the settings now if i click on the zorin icon at the left hand corner so you can see the start menu looks very similar to windows it looks neat and clean and from here you can access the accessories the graphic internet and internet you get two different browser firefox and remina office is absolutely free here where you get the LibreOffice word document that you can manage here utilities there are many things that you can manage in the utilities then on the right hand side you get the home option desktop document download pictures videos software that you can also manage few of them from here only so this is the software option and if you click on it so it's a kind of a microsoft store that give you uh, access to many kind of application that you can download from here only then you have the file explorer option and by default you get this kind of option here now basically this is a light mode of the Zorin OS and I personally love the dark mode of Zorin OS. So in order to change the appearance, you will have to click on the Zorin icon at the left hand corner again. And here on the right hand corner you will find the Zorin appearance. So click on it. And from here you can manage many of the things. Let me show you. So by default it will be selected to this. And if you want to change like this, then you can change it. And now you can check back how it looks like. You can also go with this one that will take some of the application icon in the center and few of them on the left hand corner and if you click on it it will be coming up like this 
so these are the appearance that you can choose if you want it on the top or you want to be hidden then you can go with this option there are other more desktop layout but for that you have to go with the pro option okay i will go with the first only that i like the most then you can come to the theme section and here in the background you can go with any of the option and this is the dark mode that i love the most then you have the effect option and they give you two different options of enable animation jelly mode that is of the mac operating system a special desktop situated in workspace in 3d now this jelly mode is basically what will happen now when you click on any application or folder and drag it so you can see there is an animation of jelly effect that is a basically of the mac operating system and that what i said in the beginning that this is a combination of windows mac and chrome operating system in the interface there are many more things in the desktop that you can check if you want to bring up the home trash mounted volume network server icon on the desktop then you can bring it up and now if i go through the conclusion so personally my honest review that i love this operating system and if somebody take my suggestion that which distro is best for the linux then i would recommend them to go with the zorin operating system reasons it's lightweighted appearance the performance is far better than other operating system so hopefully guys you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye